Hi guys, Sarah here from Budget Savvy Diva. I'm gonna show you how to make a teacup bird feeder. First, you're gonna need a teacup. I got mine at a local antique store. You're gonna need some glue. I'm using E6000, it's industrial strength glue. And you don't need that much, and I found that it works really, really well. It does take overnight to dry. So the first thing you're gonna do is decide where you want your teacup to be. I decided I wanted the bird seed to be spilling out. That's kind of a little bit difficult. I would suggest if you're gonna do this for the first time, maybe do a teacup how it normally should stand, just because it was kind of hard to figure out where the glue was gonna go. So I had to kind of keep on testing out, am I putting it in the right place? It took a little bit of work, as you can see, but I think it was worth it. I really liked the end result. So you're gonna put glue right where it's going to lay on the saucer, and you're gonna press down hard, and then leave it alone overnight. So I'm leaving it alone, I'm not gonna mess with it, I've done that before, I mix everything up, I'm just gonna be a good girl. Okay, so the next day, as you can see, the glue is dry and whoop, nothing falling, we're ready to go. All you need is your favorite bird seed. Now the birds around us love this oil sunflowers. I put it out five minutes later and they're here. Anything else, you know, I might see one or two a day later, they love these sunflower seeds. So I'm just gonna pour it in, and there you go, that's it. This is super, super, super easy to make, and I think it's actually pretty cool. I'd love to know what you think about it. And there you go, it's done. You could do a lot of these at once. Again, uh, this was just a teacup I found at an antique store. It didn't really have any markings, um, but you can find teacups at Goodwill or at garage sales. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed and make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.